is Fabio Napoleone. I'm a husband, father, and an artist. Everything took a huge transformation after my, uh, my daughter was diagnosed with a heart problem. I just sort of um, looked at life in a totally different way, more uh, appreciative, I guess, of um, what life could give and could take away. So I decided as a good way for myself to just um, vent, I decided to just draw my own little pad, not share it with anybody. I wrote thoughts down. Um, I wandered the halls at night while my wife and my daughter slept and just basically talked to other parents who were in the same situation as me. From that point, I um, just kept it all until um, my daughter was better, which you know, was a while, four plus months later. And once I got home, I decided to just basically attempt to put everything that I'd experienced over the four and a half months onto paper and canvas. And from that point, um, I, I guess I realized that there were more people out there who could relate to this new style of artwork, which incorporated um, used up dolls and these really, really holy yet cute characters that, that expressed emotion. The ability to get online just opened up a massive window to everybody. So for almost six and a half years, I basically um, <clears throat> wrote my own little articles, uh, I uploaded my own programs, I sold online, um, <clears throat> anything I could. I uploaded um, anybody who would basically let me put my artwork in there for free, I, I put it in there. At, you know, No matter what the site was, I just wanted to be able to get my work out to people and for them to view it so then whether they purchased anything or not I just wanted them everybody to know um, that my art was out there and um, and the meaning behind it and every piece contained this little heart um, sometimes the heart has uh, scars in it sometimes it's just a fat plump little heart but that little heart is supposed to resemble my daughter everybody takes it for what it resembles to them or you know what it means to them and uh, it, the artwork just took off. My main character, the, the doll with the eye, he, he is basically, he, he is basically was me at, at the beginning of this and, and uh, he has opened up great doors for me. He was the very first character who was able to capture uh, the emotion and everything that I was feeling at the time that we had gone, everything we had gone through with my daughter. He opened the door and uh, basically just let everybody else pour in to be able to see the artwork that I, I was able to make and I'm able to make. And people were like, well, what is it, you know, why do you draw, why are they so sad? Why are they so, and I finally did a small little buy and I placed it. And then I, once, that was again like turning a, another leap. People just poured into that and in the heart, you know, children with heart problems and my father and can you paint this and can you do this? and. And I took from that, I took I, a lot of stories that came in were truly, I mean, deeply emotional. I could not believe people were sharing these things with me. A, a complete stranger, no one had ever seen. I didn't even have a picture of myself on online or anything. It's just my artwork. And I decided, you know, I, I emailed back to people, which was, they were very thankful that I did that. And I asked them for the permission to create these things. It kind of hit me that I was onto something. Uh, when I first started, um, when I first created the doll and I put him out, um, I think one of the very first pieces is, um, I think he was in the corner and it said, I need your love. And, and the heart was next to him and it had a scar. But uh, to, to me, it meant what I had gone through with my daughter at the time. I was a doll, I need your love, could have been easily what my daughter could have been feeling. And that's what I wrote down. And that's how I just grew. Just people openly just come right out and tell me what they see. They, they know, they, they read the title and they sort of know what it means to me, but then they all tell me what it means to them. And 99% of the time, it's just completely different. And I just love, love that part of our art. How, it's just how it's perceived by, you know, whoever's behind or looking at it. It's great.